Hey everybody, welcome back to IP Farms. Well, it's another day here in North Carolina. It got a little hot again, uh, nothing major. Next couple of days, the humidity's gonna be up. But anyway, sun's shining. We got some rain coming in towards the end of the week, so here we go again. I've gotta get the bush hog hooked back up to the 1086 and go down here and mow some more. It's grown up quite a bit from the last time, so um, I'm trying to get it before it rains because that low area will hold water and I feel like that we're over the the point of where the rain's not going to dry up as much and it's going to stay wet there so hopefully i'm going to knock it out one more time and call it good down there for this year whatever grows up after this time just have to be there probably unless we do get a dry spell but anyway um probably not going to bring you along for much of it i'm not sure what will be on the rest of this video uh thought i'd get a little clip of the 1086 cranking up um since i put the hose on it fired up that day but now it's been sitting for about a week and uh, i want to show you the uh tires and this is my luck here so let's see what we can get into this is my luck so this was the one that went flat um the last time i bush hogged and i pumped it up and pulled it around here i never did get around to taking them off like i said i was going to it's not completely flat and this one over here is the one that leaks down every two days two to three days and it's been pumped up now for probably going on two weeks so several of you had suggested tire jacked. Uh, I've seen that before in a couple of YouTube videos, but some of the guys that follow me here uh, said they've used it and uh, had good luck with it. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do uh, and eliminate this problem. But thought I'd show you the tires. Clearing the push hog, 
Harbor now. And it's a wonder I haven't run away with it. I'm not that much on diesel tractors, never have been. But anyway, long story short, I ordered a turbo for it. Went ahead and put the straight pipe on it because the muffler had rusted holes in it. Got it back going. And basically that's where we are today. Uh, other than the injection pump and the batteries, of course, tired. She's been going all along. Uh, I'd say between the Oliver and the International, the 1086 rather, that's probably been the two staples the whole time of my reclaim process. And I was tickled to get a big workhorse because, you know, I mean, it's not a huge farm. But I knew that the only way I was doing it with my time constraints was to be able to get a little bit bigger equipment. And that was one of the main things that always helped me about years ago was just finding a decent size of equipment. So, you know, we started clearing the bush hog and I was running over trees that I could run over. And uh, everything was going good. And then we started realizing, you know, that it was going to take more than bush hog to get some of these trees out. And that's when we looked around and found the little Alice loader. So we got in, brought in here to the farm, and uh, I think other than the valve cover and the starter, I don't think I've had too many things in other just a small miscellaneous. So that's basically the beginning of my farming career, if you will, and the replay process with the 1086 here, the Oliver, the Big Push Hog, and a little Alice Lowe. We've accumulated parts and pieces, you know, different pieces of equipment, combines, you know, still have a lot to get there. But that's kind of a little backstory on uh, what it ended up being. I mean, I guess I could have wound up with a 5,000 Ford, which I would have loved, but just need a little bit more work. So somebody look after me here with this one because if anybody knows anything about these, I should have been able to tell that the turbo was bad. That was all the wrong with it. No more blow by it. camera went dead I uh, forgot to charge it so we're sitting here at a receptacle doing the outro um, but anyway we're gonna wrap it up call the video you guys have listened to me babble on long enough I'm sure the audio stinks in the clips I apologize for that still hot you know doors off 1086 we don't have AC here um, but hopefully it turned out just gave you a little backstory on the 1086 uh, how I acquired it um, you know where we've come from what I had to do to it um, the process of getting started, you know, during this reclaim with equipment and whatnot. A little bit about the Oliver and uh, the track loader. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully the audio wasn't too awful bad. I um, want to take a minute to uh, just thank you all again. Everybody that's continuing to follow along with me here on this journey. Uh, any new subscribers, I appreciate you coming over. You know, hopefully you enjoyed the ride with me. Um, I know it's been a roller coaster ride from the beginning of the channel till now. Uh, with not getting to be able to plant and get stuff in the ground quite yet. Uh, I guess I just put the cart before the horse, but you know, we're steady making progress. The heat's killed me this summer. We've all talked about that. So that's put me a little bit behind. And uh, one thing that I failed to uh, realize that last summer, uh, my buddy was laid off from work. So we did a lot during the week last year, uh, not just on Saturdays. And so we seem to get a lot more accomplished. So that's one thing that's put me behind. But anyway, with that being said, I just really appreciate everything you guys do and the following along and continuing to uh, enjoy what I'm doing here. A lot of it is repetition, a lot of it is monotonous and you can't video but so much of it. But you know, in the beginning, I wanted to do a daily vlog, you know, basically what I was doing up here anytime I was, but I realized real quick that that wasn't going to happen. So, uh, you know, we're just trying to catch the high spots here or there, you know, so if you'll stick with me, 
you know, eventually you're going to see crops grow in this land and hopefully, you know, some people can look all the way back to the very beginning and see what we started with. So just really appreciate that. So that being said, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you hadn't already. You know, hit the thumbs up button if you like what you see. Thumbs down. I understand it's not for everybody. Share the videos. Get them out there. Might be somebody else interested in a little bit of this I'm doing. It's a daunting task with one man band, but we're making baby steps. Until next time, thank you.